Welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. Today, Designing Spaces has some great subjects for just about all of our viewers, even if you're just thinking about buying that first home. Oh, yes. Despite the economy, it is a great time to buy a house. We'll talk to experts on how to take advantage of the buyer's market and get that new residence you've been planning for. Plus, we dress up the bedroom with some of the latest in bed covers and accessories. Oh, and do-it-yourselfers, you definitely want to watch today's show. We have something for you as well. Here on Designing Spaces, we love to roll up our sleeves and upgrade that property, and you'll be surprised at how easy it is. We'll also make a favorite house cleaning chore. Well, not such a chore. Well, wait a minute. Is there such a thing as a favorite house cleaning chore? Okay, well, after you see what's coming up, there will be. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. What do you think? A do-it-yourself project to start the show? Sounds good. Okay. What did you have in mind? How about tiling the kitchen? Oh, man, that sounds like a big project. No, you know, actually now it's very easy, thanks to some special materials. All right, Kirsten Hill decided to pop in on a friend and take a look at how simple mm -hmm. it really is. Let's watch. You know, I like my kitchen, but it's a little blah. How did you get in here? <laughs> You're on Designing Spaces, and we always seem to pop up when people want to do renovations around the house. <laughs> well, that's how it works. Yes, it is. What kind of ideas do you have for me? Well, I think we can jazz this kitchen up with maybe some glass tile backsplashes and maybe tile the countertops. Okay. You mean you're going to do it for me, right? Actually, I'm not, because unfortunately I'm as clueless as you are, <laughs> but he's not. How did he get in here? <laughs> Hey, I just popped in because I heard you ladies talking about putting some tile in this kitchen. Now, I think it's a great idea. Now, there's a little blonde here, and I think I hear 1975 calling, and they want their white Formica back. <laughs> yeah, so I hear. Well, I don't have a lot of time nor money to put tile in. Besides, I've never done it before. Well, you're not alone. A lot of people will avoid doing tiling projects like this because it's just too difficult, or it's too messy, or it's too time-consuming. And for a relatively small project like this, it's just too expensive to hire a professional contractor. But today we're going to tile using Simple Map. It's an innovative, double-sided adhesive map specifically designed to install tile on a countertop or a backsplash. So it will give you that look that you want without the mess, without the time, and without the expense. Mm. Well, I'm a first-time tiler too, so I'm ready to tackle this. Let's get it started. Let's go. <laughs> the first thing we want to do is always measure and prepare the surface to get it ready for the installation of the Simple Mat. We want to start with a clean and a flat surface. A textured or an uneven surface will not work because the mat will not get a proper bond to the surface. Okay, Sharon, now that the prep work is out of the way, it's time to do the fun part. So, we always want to start with a nice, clean, flat surface like we have here. Now, to install the simple mat to your countertop, it's as easy as removing this protective paper from the back, placing it where we want it on the countertop, continue removing the back of the paper, Using a grout float like this to take out any air that may be entrapped underneath the plastic and really help bond the mat to the countertop. Okay. Once that step is done, it's very easy to remove the protective cover from the front of it, and that exposes these adhesive ridges, and these are what really hold the tile in place. And we get to those tight spots around the corners or around electrical outlets, the product cuts very easily oh, with oh just wow. a pair of scissors. So very easy to make cuts. Okay, once the ad adhesive ridges are exposed, it's as easy as taking a piece of tile gently pressing it into place on the simple mat and if adjustments are needed it's very easy to remove the tile okay. put it back in place and once we're comfortable with the placement of the tile we take a grout foot like this and we apply some good firm pressure to that tile and what that does is it breaks down these adhesive ridges and really locks that tile in place so from that point we can just begin putting the tile in place <laughs> And it really is the quickest, easiest, cleanest way to install tile. So is this adhesive, is it permanent? Absolutely. This was designed to be a permanent installation. And uh, go ahead and try to take that tile off. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's on there. Oh, wow. 
In fact, our testing shows that this adhesive actually gets stronger over time. It was invented and manufactured by Custom Building Products, and they are North America's leader in tile installation products. All right, but we still need to grout though, right? I'm glad you brought that up because we do have some simple grout also. Oh, cool. uh, this is a pre-mixed product and it's as easy to use taking the lid off and beginning the grouting process. Well, that makes it a lot easier, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, absolutely. Traditional methods would require mixing mortars or mixing powders with water and that's kind of messy and time, kind of time consuming. But with this product right here, we just pop the lid off and we're ready to go. Now, how long would that take to dry? How long does the whole process take? Well, in traditional tiling methods, it would take 16 to 18 hours for that mortar to dry before we could even begin the grouting process. But with Simple Mat, once these tiles are locked in place, we're ready to grout. All right. The neat thing about this product is it allows you to tile at your own pace. You can complete a project in as little as a half a day or just do a little bit each evening. Either way, Simple Map provides an instant bond for the tile and lasting strength for a beautiful and durable installation. Wow, I mean this looks amazing. I can't believe we did this in just one day. Just one day. And this, this glass tile is just beautiful. It's so glassy. And as you saw today, anybody can do this. We didn't even need a professional. Let me ask you, can you use any type of tile with Simple Mat? Uh, there's a variety of different tile sizes as well as natural stone that you can use with this product. And you can use this product in backsplashes and countertops in your bathroom as well. Oh, nice, nice. Well, I'll tell you, you have totally transformed the look of this kitchen. It's beautiful. Now, what other ideas, Sharon, do you think you might have to maybe change it up a little bit more? Um, well, I was thinking maybe some drawer pulls. Nice, okay. A little painting. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing tomorrow? I actually do get a day off every once in a while. <laughs> oh man, I say we do it. Okay, All right, you know what then? If you guys order pizza, then call me. But meanwhile, Matt, if Sharon has any other questions about her ideas, where would she be able to find more information? Easy. Just visit our website at thesimplemat.com. And this product is on shelf today in your local Home Depot, so you can purchase it there or online at homedepot.com. Perfect. Sharon, thank you so much for having us in your home today. And Matt, thank you for popping in. <laughs> and if you would like to see this story again, feel free to watch the show at designingspaces.tv. For Designing Spaces, I'm Kirsten Hill. Now, that was a great way to end the show because mm -hmm. we have so many folks emerging from the bedroom right about now. They're looking for that first cup of coffee, yep. and they're finding us right here on Designing Spaces. Well, we've got more, but you know what? It's going to have to wait till our next show. All right. I'll take that as a cue to say goodbye. Exactly. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.